Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive. I, I am here to do a spread for you for the month of July 2018. So thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. Uh, uh, this is going to be for all Taurus sun, moon, and rising signs. Uh, so if your sun sign is a Taurus, uh, but maybe your moon and rising, uh, maybe your moon is Aquarius and your rising is Sagittarius, uh, go ahead and check out those videos as well, guys, whatever that is for you. Um, then you'll get that full message. Um, I particularly do that myself with, with my own uh, videos, and it actually works out just beautifully. Um, and I think I mentioned this in another video, um, you know, uh, intro as well, is that it really, quite frankly, give, brings in, uh, you know, some clarity on some of those little nuances. And uh, I think that might uh, help you. Sometimes that's all... It's those little things that really help you and uh, help you gain that insight, that one gem, that one perspective uh, that could help, uh, you know, you come to your own insights and thinks, okay, you know, that, that does resonate with me, you know, but, but that's for you to decide, okay? Um, that's for you to decide. So um, if you do uh, like this read, please be sure to like and subscribe below, guys, and note your comments because I love hearing from you. It's what my, it makes the channel go, and I'm, I'm looking to actually build my channel. So I do appreciate that. And um, please check out our Facebook group. Um, go to the Guided Intuitive Facebook page and there's a little button on there that says visit group. Click that and you'll be able to enter into our group. There'll be a few questions that you answer, um, but it's just to make sure it's a safe place for you to be there. And uh, again, uh, rather than going on this journey alone, why not have a group of intuitive souls around you? Um, so uh, it makes it much better. <laughs> So we'd love to have you, so go ahead and make sure that you guys check that out, okay? Um, so um, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, again, um, this will be for July uh, 2018, uh, full month. Let's cut the deck and let's get started. Let's see what insights that we have for Taurus uh, for the month of July. Okay, what's going to come up? This will be your strength. We've got four. Whoops, we've got this over here first, and then we go here. Okay, let's see what we got for you. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the deck and see what's in store. Oh, you've got strength, guys. Okay, beautiful. So calling upon your strength, um, your inner wisdom, uh, your ability to, uh, you know, it's the number eight that's above here, but it's really to tame, uh, to be able to have that um uh, way about you to be able to attain a, a wild animal. This is actually quite beautiful. Uh, it's using the uh, your 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 energies of your spiritual energies, uh, but also um, you know bringing that onto the earth plane. So there's a way that you're able to you know spiritually uh, you know be able to to bring in strength. And this is really just letting you know that you've got the power in you to do what it is that you want to do and you've got that opportunity. So keep that in mind. Your energies are all about strength right now. So keep that in mind in terms of whatever query that has brought you here. So whatever that inquiry is, whatever that um, question is that you have burning in your your mind, what is this? What is this? How do I do this? How do I do that? This is what this is going to answer for you there. Okay. So let's go ahead and start and let's take a look at what your uh, where you are at right now. Okay. So let's take a look at that. And where you are at, you've got an opportunity that's being presented to you. Now, you might not be happy about this opportunity, might not be exactly what you'd wanted. So you're kind of like, uh, you know, kind of foo-fooing it, saying, oh, I'm not sure, this is what I want, because you're focused on these other three things that you want. So this is saying is that the universe is bringing you opportunities and to heed them, to watch out for them, because there might be something to them. So make sure that you kind of check that out, okay? Um, and that's what it's bringing to light. So the cups, you know, the cups really talk about, you know, love, right? So it's, that's what it's about. It is about, you know, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but it's about emotions. It's also about, you know, uh, uh, relationships, romance, happiness, and intuition, uh, but using your spiritual connection as well. So the universe is, is bringing you this opportunity of love your way. And for some reason, Taurus, um, you've got your arms folded and your legs crossed. And uh, so 
keep your eyes open. This, there might be more to it than what it seems, so okay? Um, and that might lead you to exactly what you want. You just never, ever know, okay? So keep that in mind. And that is actually where you are right now. Now, this card right above over this is actually what your potential is and what your challenges are. And this is about balancing. So this is, could be about balancing your work and your personal life, so your love life and your work life. It could be about, you know, it could be, you know, also about balancing a couple things, you know, uh, it's pentacles, so it does have to do maybe with a little bit of work here as well. So keep that in mind. Um, but, you know, it is, it could be some earth element. This could be you right now that you're trying to balance things out in your physical world with your material possessions, with your wealth, and uh, coming to the realization of ideas. You know, uh, they symbolize a lot of material gains. So you might be balancing a few things out, okay? And uh, so that, that might be the case for yourself. Hopefully you're not balancing, you know, you know, uh, to relationships. So, you know, it could be that as well. Um, but, uh, you know, you're going to know. Note your comments below. Uh, you're going to know how this resonates with you. But it's two things. And you've got one foot on the water and one foot on the ground. So you're trying to do your best to really keep things in balance in your work or keep things in balance on your work-life balance and work and personal life. Or you know how that resonates. Fill in the blanks, guys, on that one. So now we're going to go ahead and move into, you know, what it, um, what to focus on, okay? And this is the Page of Swords, okay? So very, very interesting. Now, when the Swords are talking about, you know, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius, but this is really talking about, um, you know, uh, uh, it, it talks about, um, how do I want to say this? Like, like a, a struggle. Maybe you're starting something new. That there might be a, a, a particular conflict with maybe a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that you've had, um, and this actually is is what uh, what you're focusing on right now. Um, and perhaps there's a lesson to be learned in this particular struggle, um, you know, whatever that is. But there is some sort of challenge, and this challenge may have been brought up within you based upon this particular person in your life. So perhaps this person. Um, you know, has actually brought this uh, something out of you uh, that uh, is a struggle that you need to work on, or it's a challenge that you need to work on. And it could be a moral conflict. Perhaps you are, you know, are, are interested in this particular, you know, Aquarius, Libra, uh, Gemini here. So that might be the case as well. You're going to know what works in for you, um, but it's, it talks about action and this talks about change. So quite interesting. You know, we'll clarify as we go through. So let's go ahead and go to the next card, which is your past. And you've got the chariot. So it's about taking control uh, of your kingdom and of your future and what it is that you want to do. So, um, you know, perhaps this is something that you are currently doing now. And in the past, um, this is, you know, stabilizing the reins, you know. Um, and, and, and equalizing the, the the good with the bad, or in just it in, in just taking control and and not um, you know of your kingdom in, in terms of how you want to rule your business, how you want to move forward, or taking control of a situation at hand. Okay, um, and this could be inside you, or it could relate to that other person, or as you're balancing different things out over here on work and personal that type of thing. So again, you'll know how this works out for you. Let's go ahead and look at your strengths here. Your strengths is, is, gosh, you've got the nine of wands, okay? So you have definitely are watching out. You have come through, out of a battle, and you've got the Band-Aid on your head, right? So it's been a struggle of whatever it is that you had to do. Uh, but it is the wands, which is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this is about, you know, uh, this is about the fire element. This is about passion, desires, and creativity. This is about your career. And you're working hard and you're you're trying to, uh, you know, you're watching out for the competition and doing the best that you got, can to, to uh, you know, reap the rewards uh, that you've worked so hard for, and it's your passion, it's a desire, and this could be a career, and this could be about protecting your career and your desires amongst the competition out there, okay, so this is beautiful because this actually talks about your strengths, you're in a powerful position there, Taurus, so that's absolutely beautiful, uh, and you've earned it, you've done a lot of the work, um, you've got the, you know, the nine of, nine of uh, wands there, so very interesting, there's a lot of energy that went into that, there's no doubt, and a lot of, uh, you know, it's, it has to do with your career passions and desires. So um, you're going to know how that kind of feels for you. Now we're going to get into know what your near future is. So let's take a look at that. Okay. So then here you've got the Knight of Swords. 
Um, so what is this? Uh, what does this look like? This is actually. Uh, you know, talking about there's some swift communication that's coming through in the near future, some swift communication. Now, you could be the deliverer of this or this could actually be coming to you, Taurus. So you're going to know how that 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 uh, resonates with you. Um, but it's quite interesting because what this really talks about is that it's, it's just like this intellectual stimulation, right? It's uh, his mental curiosity and his his uh, mental, you know, uh, 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 you know, just kind of uh, stimulation is pushing him through um, to truth, fairness, equality, humanity, and it's it's uh, it, it's that type of thing. Okay, um, and the knight leads with his head, and not so much, um, you know, uh, and not so much his heart. So he carries a very persuasive and yet kind of opinionated, uh, uh, you know, strongly insisting that he knows what is best. So you know, this is interesting. This could be an unexpected or an impromptu situation or occurrence of an event that might be coming your way. So this is in the near future, and you're gonna guys are gonna know how that best resonates with you. Um, so let me know on on what that means because this is quite interesting. Um, you know, he can actually. Um, it, it, it could be uh, uh, orientated towards romance. It could be education, friendship, or even career. Um, you know, sometimes he's a little aggressive, which can be sarcastic or cynical, kind of like a know-it-all. But you find him in professions where there's interesting ideas or intellectual excitement. And that could be things, you know, such as, you know, law, um, you know, law enforcement, uh, engineering, technology, communications, that type of thing. So so this is interesting. Um, he might be involved with a crusade or a personal professional endeavor where he champions these types of causes. So uh, that could, again, either be you or someone that's coming to you on this. So, so quite interesting, guys. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here, which is going to follow your suggested approach. And this is the Page of Wands. So this is actually... You know, again, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And this is a type of person that's actually, you know, looking to think of what's next for myself. What is it that I want to do? Because I see whatever I'm doing right now has a, has a little bit of, is bearing some fruit. And it wants to say, okay, well, should I continue this down? Uh, should I continue to move forward, you know, as it pertains to this? So it's, it's a page, and this could be someone that's actually uh, something new that you're starting, Taurus. Um, or it could be, um, you know, someone that um, is bringing in this crusade and saying, this is budding, um, will you help me? We, it might be someone in your life like that. And again, this is, is more of the Aries Leo Sagittarius. So it could be a new idea, a new career venture, um, you know, a new passion of yours that you might want to um, kind of further investigate. So we'll continue as we go through. This is your hopes and fears. Looks like you've got some choices to make. And some of them are good and some of them might not be so good. So this is, is saying that you've got a little bit of confusion, you know, as it relates to this. And it's a seven of cups. And, you know, there's there's all sorts of things in there. And it's actually saying, well, what's going to be the best route for me to go? What, you know, you might have opportunities that are coming in front of you, Taurus. And you're figuring out what is going to be the best way to move forward for myself. What's going to be the best choice for me? And so um, it's a lot of cups, which is quite beautiful. And it might, you know, very well mean that you have a choice in terms of love, a choice in romance, a choice in relationships, whatever's going to bring you happiness or even spiritual connections. So it's, it's asking you to tap into your intuition over here, uh, you know, in terms of that. So um, you've got some choices and we'll do some clarifiers to see what we can do to help you out with that. Now we're going to go into your hopes and fears. So this is the Hierophant, uh, and this is actually uh, focusing on going within, um, and 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 sometimes you have to go within, and sometimes it's a little scary to do that sometimes, um, but that's what this is actually you know kind of focusing on on you doing is it definitely going within and 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 seeing 
Um, you know, if this is what is going to be the best route for you, it's kind of like taking a more of a spiritual, a spiritual kind of approach to some of the decision making. Um, but this is really talking about that maybe you hope to gain a little bit of enlightenment through your spirituality, but yet it's also fearful because you're diving deep into some things you've never done before. And perhaps you need to overcome some of your fears to kind of reach uh, some of the hopes and dreams and things that you want to see transpire. So that's going to be um, kind of what you what might come up for you. So you gotta, you'll, you'll know how that resonates as we go through. So um, let's go to your final outcome here which is your potential future, and this is the sun. Look at this, Taurus. It's like victory. It's enlightenment. Um, it Perhaps, you know, by going within, you're getting this enlightenment. And this could be for you on that spirituality side. Maybe you haven't delve, kind of delved into that before, uh, but someone brings it to your attention, and you're seeing uh, maybe success in that and how... They've turned their life around and how they move forward. And um, this is some choices that are being offered to you. Are you going to unfold some of these, um, you know, are you going to dive into that a little bit that's going to actually get you to the sun? So this is really beautiful, guys. Uh, absolutely great. I mean, I'm so excited for you because it's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, place to be at, at, you know, of course, right at the very, very end. And you know, I just, I, I think there's a, just a lot of opportunity. And I think what's calling you here is this is saying that, hey, you know what? Uh, you need to tap in a little bit more into that spirituality side of things and, and actually see uh, how, what can be uncovered that's going to actually bring out this sun for you. It's going to bring out some sort of renewal, uh, regeneration, you know, that type of thing. The Hierophant, uh, excuse me, the Hierophant over here is is a little bit talking about, um, you know, it's 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 actually um, how do I want to I want to take a look at this? It's like there's a figurehead at the church, right? And it's really it's interpreted almost like as a high priest. It, it's like spiritual authority, so it could be a religious school of thought, a, a monarchy. A, a, you know, is his monarchy is is you know he's got the crown that he's he's kind of running this. Um, but it's about traveling inward to really uh, commune uh, with our spiritual essence and through intuition. And we discover our source within on um, whatever that is for you. So my gosh, guys, this is really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Um, you know, and it, it's, 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 it's almost about like the employment of, of you know, uh, a course of action. And it could be, you know, it could be... Um, intuitive guidance that's 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 needed you know it might suggest you know job family medical or materialistical you know matters that type of thing and it's in guidance surrounding that and you know i just it, it's it's beautiful guys it's beautiful i think that you're actually moving into that a little bit which i really really like um it's like a matter of of uh you're seeking spiritual guidance and, and um, it's like a teacher that's going to show you this or and this, so you can actually move into this. So I really love it. I'm going to pull some clarifiers because I want to find out. Um, I want to find out um, what this Knight of Swords is right here, this, this near future coming in and see if we can get any guidance for you, Taurus, on this for the month of July 2018. What guidance do we have for Taurus on the Knight of Swords for July 2018? Let's see what actually comes into play here. Because that's really interesting. You've got the Page of Pentacles. It's like you see some value and something new is starting in this. And you see the value in this. Now, the page can, you know, can be money, but it also could be something of value, of health, you know, whatever that case may be. But it is actually you. I and mean, this is a Taurus card. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn cards. It's Earth energy. And it's almost like that you're seeing some, this information comes in and you're seeing that it has potential. And through this information coming through, uh, there is some sort of victory. So it could be that, you know, that some swift communication comes through. You're enlightened. And then there's a victory in whatever the situation is at hand for you. Uh and then uh, someone comes in and brings you a cup of love. Um, it's a Knight of Cups. Um, so, you know, uh, 
You know, again, that could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio type person that's coming in and bringing some love uh, or an opportunity for you um, that may be coming through. And then you're thinking it over. You're thinking it over, saying, oh, this is where I've come from, and where do I actually want to go? Where do I see myself? More communication comes through, and guys, um, it comes to be a lover's card. Wow. This might have to do with a relationship as it pertains to um, this uh, Knight of uh, Swords coming through here. This is a lover's card, and this is an exchange. Um, this is an exchange of love between two people, an understanding, a compromise, um, you know, some sort of, of, of exchange. So you might have someone in particular, again, this uh, could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or, or Pisces uh, element, but... Um, it is, it, there's, you know, actually there's Leo over here too. So this is actually, um, well, you've got two cups. So it just depends on, 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 on what you see, but it looks like this is more of like a, of a relationship. Maybe you're getting, um, some sort of clarity, you know, on that. Um, but that's actually really, really beautiful because you go into, it's kind of like, um, someone brings in some swift news and you come into this situation as a student of learning and, um, because of that, you learn something new that brings you victorious. And, and perhaps it's as it has to do with a relationship that someone who did bring you a cup of love, you're stepping back and looking at that situation once again. And, um, and with that, um, you're still on guard because you want to make sure that you're moving in that right direction. But then communication, um, you know, fast communication comes through and it gives you an idea as to how you need to move forward and to uh, perhaps reciprocate a, a gift of love. So that's actually really beautiful, guys. Um, I'm going to pull some clarifiers that's that's uh, actually on this um, seven of cups here. And, and what can actually, uh, what is this decision mode that you're actually making? You're going to this decision mode and you're kind of confused in terms of the choices so how can we clarify um, some of that type of energy for you and what that tends to be? Okay, so you've got the lovers here. You're confused in terms of choices in love. Oh my gosh, you guys, you've got to let me know. <laughs> this is interesting. Um, yeah, you've got the lovers card that came up. So, you know, this is maybe you've got some choices in love. And, and, and that's what I'm kind of seeing here. How interesting. Then you've got the magician, um, you know, in terms of uh, making sure that, you know, if you want something to work, it's something that might not be working and you're confused in a love situation. You've got the ability to tap into your spiritual side and to really um, get some guidance on that. Uh, and it could have to do, uh, this is a nine of pentacles. Uh, so this is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be your energy. I mean, you're very, very happy and content. You've got, um, you know, the, the, uh, beautiful nature behind you. Um, and this is a, actually pick a woman that's also stable and happy where she is as well. She might be carrying this energy or this might be you Taurus in this. Um, but this could be a fair haired, uh, skinned woman that is very, has been able to balance out her life, um, have a good living and also be in tune and balance her life out. And that be, might be someone that you are having a decision, uh, you know, to, to make in terms of a relationship, or that could be the energy that you're portraying, that that's where you stand. Um, there is, you know, again, some things that might be hidden in this, and that's what this is saying is that, you know, about this situation, about this love partner, um, you're focusing continuously to working on it and maybe seeing how this will actually come to fruition. And then you've got the queen of cups. Uh, this is really, really beautiful because it talks about, um, you know, you get, you, you actually are, are continuously working on this and this could be continuously, you know, um, uh, you know, doing your work. Um, but this queen of cups knows her stuff. Um, she definitely knows her stuff. And this is about a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that might be in your life um, that, you know, is also in a, a, a really good position. So you might actually blend, um, it might be a relationship in business, it might be a relationship personally, um, but she's very, very strong and she's learned a lot on her own and she's earned that Queen of Cups uh, positioning. So I think that's actually really, really beautiful, guys. Um, it's really, really great. And I think that, um, you know, you're going to know how this resonates best for you. Um, but I'm going to actually call on um, some more cards. I want to call because it looks like that this is more about a relationship or it could be a relationship at work. 
Um, so you guys let me know how this resonates with you, okay? Um, just let me know how this resonates with you here. Now your strength obviously up here is, is the uh, nine of wands. I'm just going to see is there any advice in terms of using our strength in this situation. Um, you know, making the best choice possible in a partnership or in a, you know, as it pertains to a love interest or as it pertains to a business relationship. Okay, it's whatever you whatever you've had. You're the victor. You're actually the victor, Taurus, in this because you're actually standing above all the other wands there and there, and that makes sense because you go from a seven into the nine of wands. So that's quite interesting. And then um, you know, uh, in terms of love, it's almost like that. You know, if this has to do with a cup of some sort. Um, it's almost as if you're using your strength and sometimes strength means walking away, whatever that means, uh, that could be that, you know, um, and it, it, and then that, and that's sometimes using your strength. Uh, it does take strength to walk away as well as to keep it, you know, keep it going here. Um, but you're going to know what works out for you best, but this is saying that your strength is being able, you, you've already, uh, accumulated exactly what did you need to. And sometimes you need to um, push someone away and let them walk away. So that might have been the case as well. So that's quite interesting there. What's quite interesting? Um, I'm going to pull some on the Hierophant there just to kind of see in terms of spirituality. If there's anything that Taurus needs to know in terms of spirituality, in terms of the, the Hierophant or whatever seems to come up, whatever messages. So kind of a little bit about you're going within and... Um, And you're getting guidance. It either, either you're getting guidance from someone else or uh, you're building up to, to, to get to this point. And that's a king of pentacles. So this is uh, definitely, <laughs> this is your Tor Taurus Virgo Capricorn kind of stuff. So you're actually building that, that intuitive spiritual inside you. And, and this is a, a very mature, this is a person that's really knows their stuff. Now this could be you or someone else that's helping you in this, but this is a person that, that, you know, is, is, has been through it, you know, is fair. It's in the upright position. Um, they act with integrity. Um, and, and that could be you, um, or it could be someone that you're getting this guidance from, that you appreciate this from, that moves you into this sun uh, type of, 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 you know, kind of a rebirth of some sort. You get this opportunity. I and mean, maybe there's an opportunity that you get that's presented to you um, and, and, and that reaches you towards the sun. And maybe that is an answer. Maybe you receive some sort of information or some sort of opportunity that related to that that type of situation that was maybe just a little bit karmic and let you tied to a situation, but it pushes you out of that. So you actually reach into the sun. So guys, you're going to have to let me know how that resonates for you. Gosh, that's great. And the king of wands, which is actually could still be that Aries Leo or Sagittarius person that's in your life. Um, it could be someone that's actually working with you. Um, this could be the energy that you're taking on, um, that you're starting, um, that you're, you're, you're focusing on watching your kingdom. Uh, you know, it's almost like you've got the first time that you've got the first wand and it's almost as if you're starting anew on something. Um, but you're, but you know, in a new area, but you're getting, you might be getting guidance from someone in this as well. So it's, it talks about kind of the spirituality is what I'm thinking here. Um, there's someone that actually is, uh, is, is, and it could be a queen, a queen of wands as well. So it just, it, it, you know, male or female, but it's the type of energy that you're taking on that king of wands and you're actually focusing on um, what you have maybe uh, learned, you know, spirituality, uh, spiritually to help you move through and get to the sun. So this is interesting, guys. I'm going to pull some um, some um, clarifiers that's, that's um, on the Hierophant's side over here to kind of see what this is and see if that helps uh, us in any situation. Domestic harmony. This might even have to even deal with a current partner. Um, but this is about creating domestic harmony in your life. Okay. In your personal life, looking for domestic harmony. And maybe that means tapping into the spirituality and uncovering those things that maybe you have to revisit, uh, you know, uh, things that, uh, maybe as a child that no longer serve you and you're going back in and making those changes and seeing what really rings true to you now to really initiate this well being and this rebirth. But domestic harmony, I mean, that's really beautiful. You guys know how that, that resonates. It could be related to problems that you've had in the actual house itself. 
um, you know, or this card be, can really be sent to you at some time, shape or another, just to advise you that, you know, that with difficulties are being resolved and, and domestic happiness is within your reach. And this is a 10 card, guys. So this actually moves into a 10. So whatever is happening is coming to an end that brings you to the sun. So that's really great. And you might be focusing on teaching and learning. So you might be moving into that realm in terms of what you do. Uh, maybe what you've learned, the lesson that you've learned, you want to teach uh, others of that because you have learned that. So you might be called upon, you know, in terms of doing that. And this is self-discipline. So this is going to take some self-discipline to overcome whatever it is, um, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, that has maybe been an indecision, um, you know, or that has been maybe a situation that happened within your life that you need some sort of guidance on. Um, it's going to take some self-discipline and practice to make sure it doesn't come up again. So you've got to keep making sure that you catch yourself, whether it's a negative thought, negative beliefs, uh, negative uh, situation in a relationship um, where you disempower yourself and not step into your power. So it could be something like that. So and what advice um, do we have in terms of this uh, this uh, this choosing? I'm going to do the, the uh, what advice do we have, um, which we actually clarified through all of this uh, in the uh, seven of cups. Because the Seven of Cups um, is brought out the lovers, right? And this is like choosing between the prop, the lovers, you know, whatever that is. It could, you know, if you've got two people, you know, careful, careful, um, you know, on something like this. Um, you know, so this is basically is what it's saying. So what advice do we have that can clarify the choices that you have to make on whatever that relates to you, Taurus, on? This is abundance. You've got a lot of opportunities coming through you. You know, it could be of a of a, a, per, of a romantic relationship or of just career choices for yourself, guys. Um, so that could be the place. Focus on health. Make sure that you maintain your balance all the way through this, which will be very, very important. Um, but uh, that's what's coming through. And there is a rebirth, guys. There is some sort of rebirth that is coming out of this. It's quite beautiful. Um and that's what brings us into the sun because that's exactly what it is. There is a rebirth that is, is taking place there. Love partnership. Maybe that you're reuniting um, with a love partnership, um, maybe in the past or one that maybe wasn't working out. Um, and you're reuniting that and now you're understanding and there's a rebirth and a new relationship with that. And that relationship still could take on a romantic relationship or it could take on a business partnership. But this is saying it's a love relationship. <laughs> so you guys are going to know how, that, how this resonates because that's quite, that's quite interesting. You're going to have to tell me what it is below there um, because it's, uh, it's, it's definitely bringing up that it's definitely a love relationship here. So uh, let me know how that resonates with you guys. Um, but it's saying that your relationship is going to go to a deeper level because of some sort of understanding and some sort of commitment. But either way, love is right around the corner, provided that you believe in it. So if you've had some decisions and not sure what to make, keep focusing on what it is that you're having a rebirth and focus on the love partnership that you want. And look at this next card that you get. My gosh, you guys, you got love again. This is about love, you know. You know, you know, perhaps you're single and about to meet someone special, or maybe you're in a current relationship that's going to go to a deeper, you know, deeper level. 